Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. With Dashway Talks, you will stay up to date with all the latest business updates in China. Every day, you will learn from China-based experts who share their knowledge about the Chinese market in two to five minutes. I'm Nicolas Coster. I am a business lawyer, French business lawyer. I have been in China for 16 years. I'm specialized in foreign direct investment. So basically, I uh, set up companies in China and I also sometimes liquidate them. If money is lent outside of China and services the purpose of buying a company in China, are there limitations on this? The Chinese government always looks where the money is coming from, okay? But there is no issue to, to borrow the money from abroad uh, as an investor, a foreign investor, and then to inject the money to, to, to close the deal. So this is not an issue. But you, of course, you have to declare it and you have to do your paperwork and to, to explain that the money is not uh, black money or money from uh, laundering, you know. How do you get the money out of China to pay the capital interest? Um, if the bank is financing the deal outside of China, the bank will lend the money directly to the investor. And the investor is not in China, so you don't have to to, uh, to be worried about uh, bringing the money out of China. Uh, of course, uh, the investor expects to receive dividend uh, from the, the Chinese subsidiaries. So uh, once uh, they pay all their uh, company income tax and uh, they have profit, they can uh, send the dividend abroad. There is no issue today. And since 20 years, if you declare and you pay your tax in China, to bring your dividend outside China. If uh, you want to do a loan uh, between the Chinese company and the foreign investor, so which is not the case of the, of the purchasing, in this case, we have to, to sign a contract and, uh, and to declare it to the Chinese government before to be able to bring the money out to pay back the loan. Follow our slide share for informative, free, hands-on reports on a variety of sectors. We publish three to four fresh China business reports a month. Find the link in the description. In which context is there a 5% tax? And in which context is there a 10% tax when getting money out of China as a dividend to a parent company? You have also 20 percent. Um, it, it really depends on your tax agreement. That means you have to, to check the tax agreement between China and the country of the investor. Okay, for France, for UK, for US, this is a five percent withdrawing tax. Uh, 10 percent of country, frankly speaking, I don't have anyone in mind. Most of the country today is five percent, but uh, you have to prove that the the shareholder is a true company, this is not a shell company. Uh, sometimes the tax office, the Chinese tax office, will ask you to get a tax substance certificate to prove it, like in Hong Kong. And if you are not able to prove it, normally they should apply 20%, but most of the time they apply 10%, withdrawing tax. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email, dx at dashwayconsulting.com.